Amidst the fervor of a rally in the South Bronx, Speaker Kevin Jenkins passionately urged minority communities to rally behind Donald Trump in the forthcoming presidential election. Jenkins underscored the critical need for a leader who would fiercely defend their rights and freedoms. He implored the crowd to resist policies he argued were designed to erode their sovereignty and silence their voices. His words struck a chord with many, echoing the desires of those craving change and stronger representation in the White House. Don't miss, why did Kevin Jenkins encourage minorities to support Donald Trump? What were the main concerns highlighted by the Trump supporters in the Bronx? How did the Trump supporters plan to mobilize voters in the Bronx? Talked about outside noise. We got to come together. We got to come together. Conservative values emphasize the importance of community, solidarity, unity, and collective action, all of which foster profound empathy. The call for diverse groups to unite under a shared purpose and common goal is crucial to safeguarding the state's fundamental principles. Latino, Black Americans, White Americans, Jew Americans to save this country. But to save this country, a sense of urgency and patriotism is vital. This calls upon the conservative conviction to safeguard a nation's values, sovereignty, and traditions from looming threats. Yes! They are only interested in stripping us of our sovereignty, stripping us of our rights, stripping us of our religious rights, stripping us of our freedom of speech. They are moving fast. And we have to get together to make sure we support Donald Trump, to make sure we have somebody in the White House that will stand up for us. Stand up for us. The call for robust leadership to champion and safeguard the people's interests is vital. This perspective, rooted in conservative ideals, emphasizes the duty of leaders to uphold freedom and protect individual rights. Yeah! Yeah! That's what it's all about. It's not about the outside noise. It's about us making noise together to save this country. Yeah! Yeah! And I'm so happy to see so many clergy people here. I'm so happy to see so many clergy people here. We deeply appreciate the engagement of religious leaders, underscoring the enduring importance of faith and its influence on public life. This signifies a resurgence in community support and moral guidance grounded in faith-based values. Because I lost, I lost faith in the church. I lost faith because I thought the church had forgotten the fact that their job was to stand up for the less unfortunate. And guess what? We have so many Americans doing so bad in this country because we have people in this country believe that they have the right to strip us of our humanity, strip us of everything that we own, strip us of our rights to raise our children the way we want to raise our children. We have to stand up against them. We have to stand up against them. Conservative principles are driven by a strong commitment to combat injustice and protect individual rights and freedoms. They advocate for active engagement and resistance against oppressive forces. We have to, we have to make sure that our voices are louder. Our voices are louder. The strength and significance of collective expression. A steadfast belief in the power of a movement and the sway of a united public voice in shaping policy and governance. That. That's what we have to do. We have to stop standing silent and we have to stop being quiet. We have to stand up against the tyranny of our time. Stand up against the tyranny of our time. This call to stand against tyranny echoes the conservative dedication to liberty and the rejection of overreaching government authority. It draws upon historical instances where battles for freedom and justice have been waged. Like all of our leaders did for us. And that's what I mean. So it's not about just supporting Trump, it's supporting your rights. Supporting your rights, conservatives deeply value the safeguarding of individual rights, emphasizing the importance of constitutional and personal freedom. Vigilantly defending these rights against any encroachment is crucial. It's supporting this country's rights. Supporting this country's rights, broadening our efforts to safeguard national sovereignty and uphold fundamental state principles, emphasizing the conservative commitment to preserving the state's unique identity and core values. It's supporting our children. It's making sure that we stand up against all of the things that are trying to take away the things that we fought for all of our lives. We fought for all of our lives, a tribute to one's enduring dedication and relentless fight for liberty, stirring a deep conservative admiration and heartfelt respect for the perseverance and unwavering commitment in safeguarding freedom. So we gotta be louder than that, right? Yeah. We gotta be louder than that, right? Yeah. And we gotta be loud because we are on the right side. We're not on the wrong side. And all of you people at home that are scared to come out and say you support Donald Trump, we get you, we understand you. We get you, we understand. 
Expressing empathy means truly recognizing and addressing the worries and anxieties of supporters. It fosters a profound sense of connection and understanding within the conservative community, reinforcing solidarity and mutual support. If I lose a job, you might lose, but vote for him anyway. And when he comes to the Bronx next week, there should be a million people out there supporting him. Because guess what? He's standing up for America. He's standing up for America. We applaud leaders who are dedicated to upholding national interests and values. It aligns with conservative beliefs that leaders should put their country's well-being first and remain steadfast against both external and internal challenges. Yeah. Now, that's why I'm here. As a black man, I'm standing here right now and I'm telling every black American. Standing here right now and I'm telling every black American, a community thrives on its inclusivity and eagerness to engage. Within the conservative movement, it's crucial to recognize the diverse voices and address their unique concerns. If you continue to continue, if you continue to support the Democratic Party, which is anti-black, you're a damn fool. You're a damn fool. Every policy prescription that they ever passed was to keep us stri trapped in poverty. Do you understand that? So we need to go knock on doors. We need to go talk to our friends. We have to tell them to shame the devil and tell the truth. Shame the devil and tell the truth, fostering moral courage and honesty. It cultivates empathy for the steadfast value of integrity, emphasizing the critical need to uphold the truth, even in the face of challenges. And stand up for our community. Stand up for our community. This slogan champions the preservation and elevation of communities, reflecting a deeply rooted conservative value in the significance of mutual support. It underscores the individual's duty to foster community well-being and uphold common principles. Now I'm telling you right now, this is a serious thing that's happening in this country. I'm telling you, don't play around with this. Do not play around with this. If Donald Trump is not back in office, you are going to be permanent slaves. Trust me, permanent slaves. At a rally in the South Bronx, Kevin Jenkins spotlighted a growing wave of frustration among minority communities who feel abandoned by today's political leaders. His rallying cry for Donald Trump was positioned as a battle for essential rights and freedoms, resonating with those who feel their voices have been ignored. This event marked a notable shift in political loyalties and underscored the critical need to galvanize diverse groups ahead of the election. As Trump gears up for his visit, the rally highlighted the influential power of community engagement and activism in shaping the political future. Kevin Jenkins' speech underscores the crucial need for unity among minority groups rallying behind Donald Trump. His message centers on safeguarding personal identity and cultural values. Jenkins taps into shared experiences of oppression, urging solidarity and defending sovereignty and freedom. He calls for authenticity and responsibility encouraging individuals to resist social pressure and stand firm in their beliefs, despite personal risks. His words evoke empathy and reflection on the struggle for identity and meaning amidst adversity. The Bronx gathering of Trump supporters illustrates a broader trend of political mobilization among minority communities. Contrary to mainstream narratives, these supporters view backing Trump as a path to reclaiming agency and challenging the prevailing political discourse. This aligns with conservative values of independence and resistance to oppression. Jenkins' speech addresses feelings of alienation and deprivation within these communities. By rallying support for Trump, he offers a means of empowerment, alleviating anxieties about identity and subjectivity in a challenging social landscape. The focus on collective action and resistance highlights a deep desire for validation and recognition in the broader political sphere. The Bronx rally epitomizes this psychological dynamic, where public declarations of loyalty to Trump serve to reaffirm individual and collective identities. This shared expression of political allegiance can provide significant psychological resilience in the face of social and political adversity. What do you think?